Mr. Vida. I'm Alfred Zappala. On this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, we're going to sample some street foods. Now, the foods here in Sicily are far different than the mainland of Italy. Every occupier for the last 2,000 years has to left its mark on Sicily's cuisine. And it's far different from the West Coast to the East Coast. And we're going to sample some surprise foods that are going to make you go, wow. Or, ow. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Ciao. Sicily is a destination spot for foodies, and street foods are a major part of the experience. Whether it's at festivals, open markets like this one in Palermo, or take out and eat shops like this one in Catania, there are food vendors galore. I'm so excited. There are literally dozens of offerings to choose from. We picked a few of our favorites, and some unusual ones. This shop in the Orgina section of Catania is across one of the many fishing docks, and the fish are so fresh, some are still alive. There are snails, swordfish, sausage, and rolls. We have swordfish, we have uh, cherry tomato, and uh, cheese. Lightly fried calamari steaks and rings, prawns, fried sardines, two types of typical Sicilian octopus salads, and so much more. This is boiled pulpy. It's octopus. It has olive oil, salt, pepper, parsley, lemon. Oh, look at this. I've been waiting to eat this. How's it? Perfection. This is tender, boiled to perfection. The flavors are really not too fishy, just perfect. I love this kind of stuff. This to me is Sicilian street food. In heaven, when I eat my fish, really great stuff. Okay, this is the quintessential uh, Catanese version of the uh, sardines. Look at these beauties. They've been lightly fried and they're just unbelievable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite right now. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of olive oil. The crust is nice. If you look at the bone over here, there's a small bone in the middle over there you want to take out. What makes this delicious is the fact that they put vinegar in here. Oh my God. This is coming back and I stop, I'm telling you that much. <laughs> oh my God. Now these are the calamari friki, very lightly fried. Look at these guys. Because horse meat is cheaper to buy than beef, it has been part of the Sicilian diet for centuries. It is very low in fat and high in iron, and eaten not only as street foods, but also in restaurants and at homes. I ordered horse meat, hamburger, and a salad, because of course I always have my salad, so I have to have it with my horse meat, which I've never had before. Hmm. Horse patty with formaggio, cheese, egg, parsley, salt, and pepper. Well cooked, of course. Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. Mmm. And breadcrumbs, too. I forgot about the breadcrumbs. Not bad. Actually, I'm really, really enjoying this. I don't eat meat that often, but taste something like this at a festival like this, street food, there's nothing like it in Sicily. So I'm going to have the horse meat sandwich <laughs> with uh, some uh, peppers that have a little bit of olive oil to try to wolf it down. And I really hope that Trigger, that this isn't a relative of Trigger from the Roy Rogers show or anything like that. I've never had it before. I'm going to take a bite here. We're going to see how it's like. I'm counting how many times you have to chew. Frankly, I got to be honest with you. There's absolutely no difference in taste between this piece of meat and a pepper steak, an American pepper steak. It's not so bad. 
There's plenty of sausage or sausages, as well as tegole, barbecued lamb or cow intestines, which are cooked on a skewer, braided with a strand of scallion or parsley, and eaten in bite-sized chunks. The arancini or rice ball is a favorite among Sicilians. Like most foods, each part of Sicily is very territorial about how they make their version of this delight. Even the shape, texture and fillings are different. In Palermo, the arancini is round, while in Catania, it's pyramid shape. Now where do you start eating? I don't know. That's another story. It's a rice ball. We call this an arancini rice ball. Some people like to bite into it, but I'm much more delicate and sophisticated than Vincent. So I'll break it off, and if you look on the inside, you've got the egg, you've got the ragu, which is the sauce, and you've got the meat. This is a meal. Yeah. This costs one euro and 80 cents. The quintessential take McDonald's. This is a succinct version of McDonald's, as the, look at that. It's, it's delicious. Street food. It really is. Street food. Alfred's favorite is crispelli, which he samples everywhere we go. They are deep fried, filled with either anchovies, ricotta, or plain with sugar on top. I'll tell you right now, this is a very good quality uh, crispelli with the ricotta. The, I'm surprised that the, uh, the oil isn't overwhelming, but it's not bad. Don't worry if you're watching your weight. There's plenty of vegetable dishes and fresh fruits that will please your taste buds. Salata. Lattuga pepper. These mushrooms here are straight from Etna. Everything here is locally grown. Spinach, tomato, chipola, onions, and of course, my vino locale. When some of our friends sample Sicilian foods, they end up having a so-called moment. But our friend Vincent Tatone was so content with the flavors, he burst into an opera song. You know, Alfred, I do have to admit, I really did enjoy that horse meat. I won't eat it again, but for this episode, I sacrificed and I enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, you did, but you want to know something? We go to different parts of Sicily, so they have different types of street food, so it's not just horse meat. Okay, we need to do another episode then on the center of Sicily and go on a tour of street foods around Sicily. Could I ask one favor, though? Go ahead. Could I bring the Pepto-Bismo? <laughs> If you've enjoyed this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, all of our episodes are at www.evazmediagroup.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, America. Dalla Sicilia.